guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. On our last discussion, we stopped at drug drug interaction. So this morning we're going to discuss more on drug food interaction. Drug food interaction is said to occur when your medicine and your food interfere with one another. Some drugs are not affected by the food you eat, while some are being affected by what we eat. Taking your medicine at the same time you eat can delay the absorption of the drug. So, taking, taking the two concurrently, like taking them at the same time, it can, some certain food also, they can either delay or they, they delay or increase the absorption of drugs, like your diaries with um, antibiotics. Like taking your diaries, example of them, like the cheese, your yogurt, your milk, taking them at the same time with antibiotics. Because the antibiotics are for me, kilo, I don't have to go on the delay, can They can either delay the absorption of the antibiotics or they can increase the absorption of the antibiotics. So it is most advisable to take some drugs on empty stomach. Like taking them either one hour before eating or two hours after eating. Majority, or two hours after food. Example are most of the antibiotics are there. Those antibiotics, you take them with food. Why the others, you take them either before food or after food. So examples of drug food interaction now, like the warfarin. Warfarin is a blood tiny drug. So when you take warfarin at the same time with food rich in vitamin K, like your fruits, your vegetables, if you take them at the same time concurrently, they will diminish the effectiveness of Wi-Fi. Oh, you take your own food, you share that. Oh, you don't get Wi-Fi. Oh, you go and have it. Oh, you go and jelly. So that's why we look at it. But look, I want be so that be I want a phone. What I do, you just like no. Oh, you take your own food, you share that. Oh, you take your own food, you share that. But you share that. Then at the same time, like your insulin, your insulin or any other anti-diabetic agent, if you take them at the same time with alcohol. The, the, it will result to hypoglycemic. It, 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 it will like it will crash down the blood sugar below the, the normal expected range. It will lead to hypoglycemic because alcoholic alcohol leads can last in the body up to eight to twelve hours in the body. Yes, so we shouldn't be taking the two together concurrently. It's either eight hours after your insulin or oral diabetic agent before you take alcohol or before you take alcohol. We, we have to space them, shouldn't be taking the two concurrently. Then your digocin. Digocin is a congestive heart failure drug. So if you are on digocin, please don't take it with herb at the same time. Digocin with herb, it will lessen the effectiveness of digocin and it, it will slow down the absorption of digocin in your body. So the two should not be taken concurrently. You give it either one hour before the dosing, you take your head, or after your dosing, you take maybe two hours before you take your head, or after two hours after taking your head, you take your dosing, and vice versa. So you should be taking the two concurrently or at the same time. Then your calcium channel blockers with great food. Taking them with great food can alter the breakdown of the calcium channel blockers. Yes, possibly resulting in excessively high blood level of the drug, along with an increased risk of serious side effect. Yeah, it will increase the side effect of calcium channel blockers. Taking them with great food, if you take the two with great food at the same time, it will increase the side effect of the calcium channel blockers. We all know what great food is, and we all calcium channel blockers are antihypertensive drugs, like those are. Um, and the are like the amylodipine, your nifedipine. So if you take it at the same time with great food, it will increase the side effect of the calcium channel blocker. So should we be taking them at the same time? 
which will be which will be taking them at different time interval. Then your acetaminophen, mostly commonly known as paracetamol, it 